Hello Blender Chums, welcome to another Blender tutorial. In this one, we are modeling a bottle and we're going to spice things up with procedural textures to give it that extra beauty. And if you're an absolute beginner, please feel free to cast your eyes to the bottom left corner here to spy on any keys that I hit if I forget to mention them. And with that said, let's dive in. The first thing we will do is to clean up our Blender space, click and drag to give it that good delete makeover like so this is just getting the old things out of the way to give us that creative room to create anything from scratch out with the old things in with the new ones and by new we need a beautiful reference image of our bottle but if you're feeling rebellious you can try going from memory but i really highly recommend grabbing a reference image as it makes the process easier to add a reference image hit shift a down to image and reference Summon the reference image from the folder that you have it saved, mine is here, and load that image. Now that we have the reference image loaded at the center, let's hit GZ just to pull it up so that the bottom is just on top of that red line here. And the next thing we do is nudge it backwards, GY, so it's nice and comfy at the back like so. Now we're ready to create our bottle. What I want is for us to create a screw-like effect at the top first, and then we can extrude the rest of it to create the full bottom. To make that happen, let's shift A to add a plane, and then hit tab to slide into the edit mode, or you can just select it here, whichever one is easier. And then our X and 90 to rotate that um, by 90 degrees on the X axis, and then click and drag these two verts at the right and X to delete them. What we're left with is this one here. Right click and subdivide four times. So we have a total of six vertices. Now select the two mid vert here, GX to pull them along the X axis like so to create a shape that looks like this. Now let's move things to the left ever so slightly. So GX to about here. The idea is to create space for the screw effect. With that done, let's go down here in the modifiers, add modifier, generate, and select screw. Immediately that creates a screw effect, but it's just one iteration as you can see on the right here. Let's change that to two. And nothing happens because the second iteration sits right on top of the first one. To see it, we would change the screw value here but let's hold down shift and slide that to the right to make sure that that change is very subtle and smooth as you can see there's a gap here i'd want us to close that gap let's see if two does the trick so a screw value of two meters does the trick here you have the opportunity to change how deep you want the cut to be by just gx pulling this further like that but i think what we have is okay do as you please here Next, let's tap into the object mode and then Ctrl A to apply the screw modifier and then tap back into the edit mode. Now, remember that these vertices may be closed, but they are not exactly merged and we need to make sure that they are all merged. To do that, hit A to select everything, M on the keyboard to merge by distance. Now, if it's done correctly, you should see that 17 vertices have been removed right here. That's if the merge distance is correct. If you change this value, it would affect the merge differently. And to test that, these vertices are now merged. If you go and select that, you can see they're all joined together like so. Now, let's see if we can tidy this up to prep it for the extrusion phase where we create the rest of the bottle. To tidy it up, let's select everything first. What I want is for this side to face the front. So let's rotate that on the Z axis slightly like so. And let's put that in front. That's what I want. First thing we'll do is all click the top loop like that. And then C and middle mouse button to deselect this ones. And then E, Z to extrude along the Z axis like so. S and Z and zero to flatten that on that axis. G, Z to bring it down like so. Now, remember that these vertices are not merged, but we will merge that because we need to make sure that the shape is, for the most part, maintained. So to do that, select that one and lastly, select this one that's already in position and then hit M and merge by merge at last so that it merges that with the one that's already in position, thereby maintaining the 
the structure of the object. If you do it the other way around, let's say, let's undo that. Let's say you select this and select this instead and you say merge by last, you see it changes the shape of the object and we don't want that. So undo that, select this and select the one in position M and last. Also notice that these other vertices are still loose, including this one. What we're going to do is to control R at the loop cut here, drag it up to this so that we can have these two merged at center, which will not change the shape so much like that. And then we can see that this one is loose. It needs a vertex here to merge properly. To create that vertex, we will just use the knife tool. So K okay, to bring up the knife tool, click here and then here and enter to create an edge here that we can use to merge with this one. Like before, select this one, which is not in position. And then this one, which is in position, hit M on the keyboard and last to merge that directly, maintaining the quartz. Okay, the rest of these need something here to merge with. To do that, we'll go into the face select, select this face, hit I to inset. And if it insets like this, hit B on the keyboard to create a boundary, to tidy that up like so. And then do that a second time like that. So this will correspond to this one up here. And then back into the vertex select mode, see these two verts here, click and drag over both of them, hit M and you can merge that by center. And do the same with this other one, M, merge that by center, at center. Now like before, select this one and then lastly this one, M, merge at last and do the same with this one, M, merge at last. So that leaves us with something like that, which is clean and everything is closed up. And if you guessed it, you know now that you can select this and extrude and scale and create whatever other shape out of these that you want. But we will do that with the bottom one. So undo that. I will repeat the same thing with the bottom loop, but I'll keep quiet for that and complete it. And then come back when we are ready to extrude and scale to create the rest of the bottom. So see you when I'm done. The screw effect is complete. What we have to do now is to create the rest of the bottom. But this is too big for our reference object. So we will scale this down, hit A to select everything, Alt Z to see through, S to scale down like so, so it matches the bottle. And then G to bring this in position, scale it down, G Z to bring it down like that. And I'll click this, make sure everything is selected, extrude and scale following the shape of the bottle. And notice that the bottle is not entirely straight, so feel free to employ your creative flexibility here. So E and Z to extrude on the Z axis, and then just scale it slightly like so. E, Z, extrude and scale. E, Z, extrude, and then scale. Then G, Z to bring it up again, like so. So we can scale it in that B, Z. B, Z, bring it down. And scale it. And the next thing is to E, Z, and just bring it right down, like so. Then E, Z, bring it down, scale it in. To start rounding this bottom, because it's slightly curved and scale it in scale it in like that and then es to scale it in es again and scale it in then g z like that just to create a bit of detail down there es again es just bring it in scale it in and then f just to fill that just a sort of detail like that that might be a bit too much but we can always all click this and GG just to slide it out again like that. And I think that's better. Now there we have it. From the screw effect, we've created the bottle, which I'm quite happy with. We can right click and shade smooth. Uh, all the smooth. 
Oh well, all this won't create something like that. Um, let's create some like that. The next thing we will create is the cap. To create that, we would steal one of these loops. So Alt click this, and then Shift D that, and P separate by selection. So that creates a second plane. Let's rename the second plane to cap and the initial plane. Let's rename that to bottle, like that. And I think it's time for us to hide the bottle, so we can stay with the cap. Door selector, but it's not really um, in active use. So let's tap into the object mode, select the cap again like this, and then tap back into the edit mode so we can create the cap. So A to select everything. We're going to do extrusions following the shape like the bottle. So this should be fairly easy. And then we'll create this interesting design here as well. So let's G Z to bring it here. I know that the bottle has perspective to it, but we'll just create it on the orthographic view like this. So let's kill this up like that. And then E to extrude Z on the Z axis. E to extrude Z again. E to extrude Z again, like so. This time we'll scale it in like that. And then E to extrude on the Z axis onto that. And then E to extrude on the Z, but we'll scale that in. E, Z. Just following the shape. Make sure everything is nice and round. Scale it in to start rounding the end right there. Just rounding that. And then we can just hit F to fill that part. And there we have it. Um, if we bring back the bottle, we can see we have created a part of the bottle. And we can also right click and shade smooth that. Um, so it's also smooth. Um, what we can do is add loop cut here to tidy that out like so edges that we want to be more defined, we will tidy them up like that. Control R here and tidy that up as well. And Control R here. Get it in instead like that. So you can define that part of the bottle as well. And then let's hide the bottle again. And for this part of the bottle, let me hide the cap. For this part of the bottle, let's create in a design. So bring the cap back on. Alt Z. So I'll just create a loop cut here, nice and dandy. Hit three to go to the face select, or click this to select all of that. And what we'll do is just right click and subdivide it. Um, let's say one, two, three. Three is fine. Um, and then we can just I click this and go to edge select or select this edge, this three edges, shift and select all of these three edges and then control X while in edge select to just delete those edges. Back into face select or click this to select that loop of faces and go up here in the select menu and down select this checker deselect option. What that does is it deselects every other face, which it's good to create that design. And then we will just E and scale it out like so, slightly. There's a weird shade in there. If you right click and just shade order. Let's see the orientation. Let's tap into this and see the orientation. The orientation of the normals is incorrect. So let's hit A to, D to select everything and then shift N to recalculate the normals and then back in and just uncheck that. Now the shading is correct. Okay. The next thing that we need to do is to apply a solidifier modifier. So select that, add modifier, go to generate again and solidify. This is just to give the object some thickness. So we we'll increase that to 0 0.02. So that just creates thickness for the cap there. And then the next thing is to just add in, just say control two. So like control two to, to add in a subsurface modifier. And immediately you can see that our sweet design here has been destroyed, but we can fix that. To do that, let's go into the edit mode, Control R to add 
two loop cut here and then let's scale that on the z axis like so let's just tighten it up out like that and there we have it nice and clean let's bring that bottle back and hide the cap but our bottle does not have solidify modifier so let's go and do the same generate solidify modifier 0.02 um, we could actually copy modifiers but that's fine um, and then control 2 to add a subsurface and that just made that a lot better now we've modeled a bottle and it looks really clean now the next part of this tutorial is to add textures to this object and actually before we do that i would like us to create some sort of tube that comes out of this um cap into the bottle because that should be the design here yeah? so let's hide the bottle and thing what we can do is we're going to select one of these i think we can select this one here and then or we can select the one inside and then just have to fill it in so we have a face in there like so and then we can insert that face and now let's let's get it out again insert it one more time from that we can extrude on the z-axis down to create that tube and add two loop or three loop cuts here just so it's steady and then hide the reference image just extrude again on the z-axis like so tidy that up extrude z again scale it up because i think there's a funky shape that normally occurs here ez scale it in so this usually that kind of shape for the tube you can make this longer if you want to but i just wanted us to add that um that bit of detail in there that comes out of the cap so bring back the bottle and there we have it so in the next part of the tutorial we will add texture to make it realistic see you in the next one